Hey guys, welcome to Podiatry Practice Mastery. Don here. Um, I want to talk about uh, a concept that has kind of been a, a, str a struggle for me to, to understand for many years. Um, if, if any of you read any kind of personal development books, there's always this topic about why you you should be faithful to like a, a habit or a goal or being consistent. And I, I never really kind of understood. I, I kind of live it, but I never really understood the, the rationale. And I've, I've read this and I just, I don't, I think a lot of times we're not in the right place to understand certain concepts. Uh, but when we're ready, then kind of the concept becomes obvious. And I, and I think uh, this is something that, that happens in our lives. And I'm going to give you some examples. So for example, uh, I think a, a lot of times I try, I've tried in the past different things. Uh, for example, I started YouTube many, many years ago, and I learned kind of how to do it, and then I got a little frustrated or overwhelmed, or I didn't have a system of doing things, and I stopped for many years. And those initial videos are the ones that are actually producing all the revenue today, uh, or a lot of it. They're ones on foot wounds and things like that. They're really kind of old videos. But I, I didn't have the consistency, and if I could have just kept making like a video a week, or, or something else like that, being more consistent with those, the benefits I would have seen a lot longer. Um, so that was one of my things that I, I kind of messed up. The same thing with the with a, the, the podcast that I tried doing for a little bit, and I just wasn't really consistent with it. Um, many times trying different types of eating habits, diets, uh, things like that, that, that didn't work. Uh, or they worked for a little bit. And this is the concept of momentum okay and it's not something I really kind of understood that well and I'm, I'm only starting to understand it but I, I want to share this with you guys because I think it's something that's value valuable so let me give you an example right now so recently I'm 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 working on a different a couple of different um, projects okay uh, and <clears throat> the consistency is the key and, and a lot of times I'm not seeing the benefit and I'm wanting to quit okay and I I've, I'm not doing it so let's talk about uh, personal life okay so starting with personal um, as you've heard me kind of rant before what I do now is I do two boot camps I do a boot camp on Monday at 530 in the morning and then Friday at 530 in the morning and I like it because I go there um, they tell me what to do and I pay them what I think it's a hundred dollars a month but more importantly if I don't go I have to pay an extra twenty five dollars so there's that 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 kind of negativity you tend to uh, you, you know you get reprimanded if you don't go so that is that that's been my habit that's my consistency and um, after the pandemic I started this back up again and everything was kind of sore it was hard to do it it was initially hard to get that momentum but once that momentum is going and then it's in my schedule it's now it's super easy to do the same thing with with um, with my eating I struggled with eating I was trying to eat low carb I was trying to eat healthy I was trying to this and that I did the one cheat meal a week I was doing keto and nothing really worked for me um, what I've found now that's just easier is not to have any choice so I I only choose to eat once a day Monday through Friday that's the intermittent fasting thing and I eat at like five o'clock when I get home and I just drink a ton of coffee during the day and tea and stuff like that and for me that like has been the easiest thing and then some days I'm, I might not do it if I'm with friends or family. I'm like I like to eat social. I'm a social eater, and um, and that and that's what works for me now. I have just all this momentum. It's something that's super easy to do. It's hard in the beginning because you have to develop that momentum. So it's kind of like if you're like pushing. I remember like we we're playing with our kids at the on the that, that miracle round, kind of going around, or that thing where the kids push each other, and it it's start hard to start, but once it's going, it's really easy to keep it going. Same thing when you're like pumping a well. Uh, the old-fashioned well it took a long time to get that water going but once it's going it's really easy and that's the same thing with these habits in our life so that's personal there, there's a few things professionally that uh, that are good habits that that have taken time to to do it so for example every month I make a new video that I use then to share to all my patients so it's a little five five or ten minute video on a certain diagnosis and these I put on that iPad and so I have one on 
a diabetic exam. I have one on plantar fasciitis, one on Achilles tendonitis. So each month I do these, put it on my YouTube, but then more importantly, I put it on the iPad and I use that every single day. So it's consistently, it's slow, and I have these reminder systems. Uh, the most, um, I, I've used like follow up then. I, I have stuff in my Google Calendar, and then I'm, the latest thing I'm using is this to doist type of thing to remind me of these things. So these are consistent things. So right now, in in my in my in my office, so I have that weekly video or monthly video newsletter, and then this automated newsletter that's going out to kind of drum up business, okay? And that's consistent. It I, I want to give up because it, it it's it's kind of bo- it, frankly it's boring, <laughs> okay? It's boring to do the same thing, but the things that work, you have to keep doing them, okay? And that's the one thing that I found. So I'm going to keep doing it. Same thing with this podcast. Like I'm at I don't know how many episodes now. And, it, and, it, and it, I enjoy doing it, but if, if I look at the amount of people watching it, I think it's like tw- 20 people. And so if you're one of the 20, I thank you. But it's it just a, a lot of work putting out this content, and you're kind of like working in a vacuum with, with like this podcast stuff because you don't know if anyone's liking it. You don't know. But what happens is if I stopped right now, it would just stop, right? But by continuing on, I know that these numbers are going to keep going up and up and up. That's just something that's going to happen as other opportunities open where people can go and listen to these other episodes. And uh, so I'm just consistently doing things. You try not to do too many things, though, or you're going to get burnt out. Now, that's a key, okay? Um, Because what happens is it's kind of like the person that decides they want to lose weight, change their diet, and uh, do everything at once. They're not going to do it. It's not sustainable, and so for us, when we're busy, you know, we're busy doctors, we're, we're in the office, we have families, we have other obligations, you have to kind of do structured things that only you need to do that are easy and fun, okay? This is the key. And so that's what I try to do. So for Podiatry Practice Mastery, I love doing that, that Monday update because I just, it's kind of just my creative juice is flowing and I can share what I'm learning with everyone else. That's easy. The podcast is super easy because I do it at work. I go on, on the way to work or when I have a new idea and I share it. And all these are ahead. And then on my lunch hours, that's when I do the interviews. So it's, it's all consistent. It's all easy. It doesn't take any work. And, and all the, the, the stuff that needs to be done, I use a virtual assistant for. So anything that causes you frustration, you have to figure out who else can help you. So for example, with my interviews, I just upload them into like a cloud and then present takes care of all the interview stuff. Um, for the for the other stuff, I use this thing called StreamYard for streaming these videos. It's really easy. I can do it on one take, so it doesn't take any work for me. Podcast, to do it right in the car. Uh, that's super easy. So that's within Podiatry Practice Mastery. Within my with my office, uh, basically the same thing. I have the slide deck for my 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 monthly videos, and these um, webinars that we do every other month. It's all set up. So once the thing is set up, you have the inertia, you have the momentum, and you just kind of do them. So those are things that I would just recommend for you guys to do. If you've started something, it always takes a lot more work to get the inertia or to get to get over the inertia, to get it going. But once you get it going, you have to just kind of keep doing it. You kind of get this in your habit. It might be listening to this podcast. And, and so the, the issue is, like with, with Podiatry Practice Mastery, and what I know, because I know of myself, right, you guys have access to all the resources on Podiatry Practice Mastery. There's tons of stuff, okay? There's tons of, there's these videos and there's these other books that you can read. Now, just having access doesn't mean that anyone does anything. And this is the key. Unless you have time set aside in your calendar for personal development and you have it kind of stacked, you're not going to do it. Okay? No one's going to do it. You, you, what's what's going to happen is you're going to have like a, you have a certain need and you're going to watch those videos and then that's it. But my recommendation is developing like a personal development time. So let me explain kind of what, what's working for me now and it might change. My prep day for the following week is Wednesday morning. So every Wednesday morning, I know that I'm going to have some extra time and I prepare my agenda for the next week. That's the time I have in my schedule and I do it every Wednesday. Okay, that's that's how I that's how I do my personal development, preparing the next week. Every morning I read ten minutes, and I have my like that morning routine 
where I um, do this, you know, a cold shower for two minutes. I do this Wim Hof breathing for 10 minutes. I, I read my Bible. Then I read my positive book for 10 minutes. And it's, so I'm reading Norman Vincent Peale, The Power of Positive Thinking, 10 pages every single day. So that's my routine, my personal development routine. And then when I, when I do my Monday interview thing where I owe those little, that little update, that's when I re-listen to the interview. Cause I was, I'm doing the interviews, but I'm not really paying attention when I'm doing them. So I re-listen to them. Okay. And so if you don't have a system of like this personal development time, I don't know, maybe it'd be every Friday morning or it, ha- it has to be, usually it's the morning is the best time for me. And then you consistently have that hour that you're going to work on something that could be going through the content on podiatry practice mastery. It could be reading a book. It could be something else. Um, uh, there's that orthotic course that I recommended. Um, there's there's just a, a lot of types of things. But if you don't have time set aside in your schedule and it's like sporadic, you're not going to make any progress. So even with, with this personal development stuff, that's why you know we're gonna we're starting to charge for podiatry practice mastery, not so much for um, for the money. It's more because we don't value what we don't pay for, <laughs> and. Uh, and you're not going to take any action. Like no one, if anything's free, you don't take any action. That's the problem with giving all this free content with these interviews. Because if you do an interview and I and I, this podcast and and, the, and not this one, but those other interviews, like people don't take any action based on it. So that's where the, the action factor. That's where you either need like a group or you need a, a specific time for you to sit down and learn and then learn how to take that action. So that's kind of another step that we'll talk about in the in the future. So anyway, I wanted to talk about that inertia. I'd love to know your response to send me an email or uh, uh, reply on this, this podcast. Okay, guys. Thanks.